Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Good morning to you guys as well. Good morning. Pleasure to see both you guys. Yeah. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar with Camping with the Kellys, we met each other over at the RTR. They stayed the night here. We have uh, what is left of a, a keg over there. There were some very thirsty nomads who showed up last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> they tap it. Let's go check in with uh, Navigation Nowhere, see what's going on. Oh, good morning. You're here. Joe, right? Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by last night. Uh, guys, this is Scott. Stud Muffin Scott. He's doing a PA, not production assistant, a physician's assistant. He's been traveling with Mike in here. This is. Oh, by the way, this is Mike's bus. Uh, Mike showed up yesterday, I think. Day before, I forget. Um... You guys haven't seen this. This is kind of what my bus is going to look like. Um, wood ceiling, you know, vinyl floors, similar layout in the front, just slightly more com compact, but double seats in the front. Um, but uh, obviously got the double skylight instead of the single. You know, just kind of make it look like a nice little Pinterest house. Like a Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is the day that we are, I don't even know the correct term for it, but Mike's been using the term, what? Strapping? Yeah. Like a strapping young man, we are going to put wood on the, this on the side, right? And then that's how we're going to nail the wood into the ceiling, essentially. So we're just going to cut wood, drill it in. Any thoughts? Oh, yes. Something like that but it's gonna be like a square, so it's gonna be like that wide. And then it's gonna be flat, so we're gonna go boop, boop, pew, pew, pew. Thoughts on that? Yeah, that's one way to do it, it works. Dude, dude I already missed Badge and uh, Camp Downer House Brad. I know, we're not in Squatterville anymore. <laughs> we are not we're in Squatterville. We're definitely not in Squatterville We're gonna come up with a nickname for this place. What do you guys think? We're at the Colorado Custom Coach Works. CCC, I don't know. We're at the Schooly Garage. Who knows what's going on. Anyways. Um, we're just going to get to work, and we'll check in with you in a little bit. Moving right along. Look at the progress we are making. Sorry for the background noise. It's all kind of banging. There's all kinds of uh, commercial break behind me, which is fine because it's not copyright. Mike, what's going on, dude? Hey, we're making some good progress. I'm doing, man. We're getting the thing strapped today. Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, Mike's going to make a detailed video about why to do this, uh, what exactly we were using for the materials. But essentially, we're just kind of framing this thing out, and uh, we're going to insulate the middle part, and then put uh, plywood uh, and nail into that uh, wood. So we're going to work on uh, what is called strapping. This is what we're going to be nailing into uh, with the uh, with the wood. You all right there? of redwood here um, that are just awesome so we're gonna use the ones with all the knots in it and a lot of the green this one looks like it has some kind of uh, oh I don't know like a, a wormhole in it or something um, or like some kind of oh redwood doesn't really get bark beetles so maybe it's a worm but it's just a couple of really pretty pieces let's go along gonna go along the side and fold down we're gonna have two of them 
Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to get to work. Don't know if Michael's going to document this or not, but we'll show you when he's, uh, before he puts it together. By the way, this is some of the crew. This is Nick. He's got a Frankenstein of a bus over there. Uh, JT and Chris over at Colorado Custom Coach Works. They're doing a 20-inch uh, roof raise on this uh, flat nose bus here. So, pretty cool stuff. I think they're uh, doing the roof raise and then giving it off to somebody else. So, um, yeah, like I said, DIY space. Uh, they have contract builds and all that stuff. I think I mentioned before that wasn't going to have a car in the back, kind of like Knight Rider style, that goes up on that uh, little ramp there. Um, this is all DIY. Everybody comes, works on their own stuff. You know, Home Depot's right down the street. Well, Lowe's, because we don't like Home Depot. Here is the update. This is the next day. And most of the uh, area, as you can see, there's a few ye uh, yellow spots, but did most of the area up on the roof. You can't really see the top of it, obviously. Over here, I still need to touch up some spots. I did find uh, two holes that I forgot to cover. And uh, got this air horn to deal with. So uh, that is what we're looking right, like right now. Um, <laughs> still got a lot of work ahead of us. And, uh, you know, it's a little warm out here in Denver. So this is, uh, yeah, but exciting stuff here. Uh, just if anybody's thinking to do this, like especially if you're like me, I used to have zero experience. If you're a construction person, it's a piece of cake. You know, any uh, tradesman, it's going to be easy for you. You're going to have the tools. But uh, I'm learning as I'm going. Learning about products, learning about technique, learning about you know design, construction. So uh, this is a hands-on experience here. So uh, there's nothing really that averts, that that beats this immersion. working away. I was working until about midnight last night on this thing, so anyways. Alright guys, great, great news. Over here at Colorado Custom Coach Works, I got the top all pretty much, I mean, not the detail parts obviously, but for the most part I got the whole thing done. Some parts have like four coats, some parts have two. Uh, I will be putting more paint on as the day uh, progresses. Let's go check, check in with Michael. Mike, so what's going on over here? What are you making? We're building your outside barbecue table. We are making sure that this thing is done as square and straight as possible. It well, looks pretty good. Guys, you ever seen a redwood table on the outside of a bus or a van or anything? I gotta say, it looks really nice. We're just gonna have to get a a harder coat or something possibly to seal it because it's a softer wood. I'm kind of concerned a little bit with how you're going to be using it, but yeah. we'll make it work. It'll last the test of time. So Mike was saying his grandpa brought over some uh, design for a table. Is that right? Is this part of the design? Yeah, this, this is my grandfather who designed this table like way back in the day for his workbench. And uh, I re-engineered it into a more modern, useful table for barbecues. So this awesome. is actually like, you know, old school kind of design. And uh, what we're doing, so. Sweet, man. Check that out. I used about four out of five gallons so far. Let me show you guys what exactly is happening on the roof. There are some spots to touch up. But that's the way it goes. I like the way it looks so far. What do you think? I know this is a, uh, it's heavier here than it is there, so I definitely, <laughs> you can see a big old clump right there, I definitely poured it on. Uh, the front part, definitely need a couple spots to, uh, to touch up on, but this is looking pretty good. Now, right here in the middle, I'm waiting on a product that I contacted the owner from. It's a cooling device. I don't know if I'm gonna get it yet. If it doesn't come in time, I'm not going to hold down the build. Michael has things to do and people to see. Um, so if that's the case, we'll just make the deck extra long, pretty close up to that uh, skylight. Uh, otherwise, we are going to kick it in high gear here. Uh, so 
within the next coming videos we should be blasting through some stuff, painting the exterior. I don't know what color yet, I'm thinking red. A bit more eye grabbing than uh, Craftsman Blue. And uh, yeah, a bit more like my personality I think, you know, kind of out there. <laughs> Mike, can you show us what you've been working on? No. <laughs> oh gosh, Ooh. isn't that a beauty? Look at the nice, precise lines here with these oh. uh, screws. These these are pocket screws. To me, they're a bit more like vanity. They don't look like a typical like cross screw. So that's why we went with those. A little bit OCD. Me or you? I would hope both. I was going to say both, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're using some, I don't know, clear sealer thing, but I think we're going to take some oil-based poly to this because it's going to get beat up on the side of the bus. Yeah. It's, we're pretty much, like, taking a deck, and this company's like, hey, this is rated for four years, and then we're like, we're going to put it through a hurricane every day. <laughs> pretty so, much, yeah, especially when it rains. So, like, three-year protection turns into, like, six months real quick. Yeah, <laughs> it's all rain-ready in four hours, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, I wonder how many uh, hours it would take to be bus-ready. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything needs to be bus rated. Oh yeah, bus bus rated. Yeah, bus yeah, bus rated. Yeah. What's your bus rating on this product? <laughs> <laughs>